Well, my friends, it's almost here. We are just weeks away from the event the markets have been waiting for nearly four years for, the fourth Bitcoin halving. What's going to happen pre-halving and post-halving? Where should any newer idle capital go? How do you get prepared? Well, today is the ultimate crypto video on this halving. So find out everything and more in about 10 minutes because it's time for Chico Crypto. Yes, the Bitcoin halving is nearing, friends. If you look at the countdown, we can see the Bitcoin halving is just 15 days away. And if you didn't know, today is the 5th of April. What does that mean? Well, the Bitcoin halving is going to happen on that fateful Mary Joanna day for 20 man. You need money. <laughs> All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. So if Bitcoin hits 69K and the halving is on 420, it may just prove Elon Musk is Satoshi Nakamoto and we live in a freaking simulation. I think most likely, this is just about probability, there are many, many simulations. But the question is, what is going to happen in the couple of weeks leading up to this halving? Well, the best way to figure that question out is to see what happened with past halvings. So let us begin with the last halving event, which took place on May 11th, 2020. Remember, we are 15 days until the halving. So 15 days before the 2020 halving date would put us at April 26. Looking at the price action of Bitcoin from April 26 to May 11th, 2020, we can see it was actually pretty bullish. The price pumped from 7,500 up to 10K three days before the halving, before dipping down to just above 8.5K on the halving date. Thus, there was a two week pre halving pump of 33%. And on the day of the halving, the price was just over 13% higher. I wonder if this bullish pre halving trend continues into the past. So let's now have a look at the 2016 halving that took place on July 9th, 15 days before this date was June 24th. Checking out the price action, it's much different than 2020. The price pretty much stayed sideways, chopping up and down. On June 24th, the price was $666. Just over a week before the halving, the price pumped up to near $700. Although by the time of the halving, the price came back down. On July 9th, the day of the halving, the price was $650. Thus, there was a pre-having pump, although it was weak, only jumping by 5%. And then on the day of the halving, the price was down by about 2.5%. Now, what about the first halving in 2012? Well, this took place on November 28th, and 15 days before this was November 13th. Unfortunately, CoinGecko doesn't go back this far, so we have to use another price chart. But as we can see, it was pretty bullish too. November 13th, the price was about $11. And then two days before the halving, the price pumped up to $12.50. Then on the day of the halving, the 28th, it came back down to $12.20. Thus, there was a two-week pre-halving pump of 5%, and then on the day of the halving, there was still a pump of just 2%. So, my friends, in each of the three past events, starting 15 days before the halving, there is a pre-halving pump. In 2020, this pump was the largest, 33%. Then in 2016 and 2012, the pre-halving pump was just 5%. Thus, it's fair to say there could be a pump over the next couple of weeks leading up to this 2024 halving. Now, if we take the average of these three values before, that pump would be about 14%, and that would put Bitcoin from its current price at about 77,000. 
but even if Bitcoin performs like in 2012 and 2016 with just a 5% pump, that would put the price nearing 71K. Although, what's the price gonna be on the day of the halving? In 2020, the price was 13% higher than 15 days before. In 2016, it was 2.5% lower. And then in 2012, it was 2% higher. If we take the average of these three, that would put the price at about 4% higher than it is today, meaning Bitcoin would be at about 70K. Although even if it dips like in 2016, 2.5% less from the current high would put the price barely lower at just 65,600. Although what's gonna happen post having? That's a big question. What will happen for the rest of the year? Well, after April 20th, we have about eight months until the end of the year. Year. Looking at the price charts eight months after each of the three previous halvings, the price has gone wild. After the 2020 halving, the price went from 8,500 to over 20,000 in just eight months, an increase of 135%. After the 2016 halving, the price went from $650 to 1100 in eight months, an increase of 69%. Very nice. After the 2012 halving, the price went from $12.20 all the way up to 100 bucks in just eight months, an increase of 720% a large range of pumps so it's pretty hard to estimate where the price will be at the end of the year but i expect somewhere between 40 percent and to match what happened in 2016 a 69 percent pump that would put the price between 100k to 118 thousand dollars that's a pretty dang bullish take, Chico. BTC to at least 100K by the year's end? Well, I'm not the only one saying this. Have you ever heard of Bob Lucas? Well, this Cointelegraph bio on him says, if you've ever heard about the four year cycle regarding Bitcoin, there's a good chance you've stumbled across Bob Lucas's work or followed someone who's familiar with his theory. Lucas is arguably one of the first Bitcoin OGs to popularize the notion that most markets, not just Bitcoin, tend to move in four year cycles. Yeah, one of the OGs of the four-year cycle theory has a prediction for Bitcoin year end. They tweeted just yesterday, we should welcome this period of consolidation in crypto, ideally full accumulation into late May, exhausting all sellers at these levels. A foundation for the next doubling in price by year end. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, Bob believes Bitcoin will double by the end of the year, which would definitely put Bitcoin above 100K, somewhere near 134K at current levels. But crypto people far and wide believe in a 100K Bitcoin for the end of 2024. The creator of the Bitcoin rainbow chart, Plan B, put out a poll that got over 53,000 hits. And nearly 72% of crypto diehards believe 100K Bitcoin is coming in 2024. But what about outside of cryptocurrency? Well, banks and hedge funds, Wall Street, believes Bitcoin is going to 100K or beyond by the end of the year. The Bank Standard Charter put out an end of the year Bitcoin prediction in May and said 100K would be hit. But they recently revised this prediction to higher. March 18th, they said it could hit 150,000 by the end of the year. Then hedge fund CEO of Morgan Creek, Mark Yusko, put out a similar prediction. 150K BTC by year end. Why is everyone so bullish? Well, post 420, post having things are different this time around due to the Bitcoin ETFs. In the past, post having the demand for new Bitcoins came mostly from a single source, retail investors. But this time there is demand from institutional players on Wall Street. This data point explains it very well. In March alone, there were over 66,000 BTC purchased by ETF funds. In March, there were only 28,513 BTC mined. 
So for every Bitcoin mined, there was institutional demand for 2.3 BTC. Post 420, this monthly mined Bitcoin gets cut in half, down to just 14,256. If the monthly ETF demand stays the same, for every Bitcoin mined, there will be institutional demand of 4.6 BTC. Less supply, more demand. It's simple economics. Hodl and accumulate Bitcoin. That is all anyone needs to do. Cheers. I'll see you next time. The most trustless name.